Hello everyone. Today I'll tell you a very interesting activity that is making a gun. I love playing with guns and I love designing guns. So mostly this is the same with most of the kids. So today I'll teach you how to prepare a gun and what all we can learn through that prepared gun. So for that what we need? Disposable syringes, new disposable syringes of different sizes here there are. So this is a 60 ml syringe. So new one we will be getting, we will discard the needle of it which is not needed. So the syringe we need, a fresh one. So I have 60 ml syringe, 20 ml, 10 ml, 5 ml and 2 ml syringe which is very small. This is a 2 ml syringe. This is a 60 ml syringe. So right now tell me one thing children and I am pulling this piston like this. Now what is there inside the syringe? Is it an empty syringe? It's not empty, no? This is having air inside it. So it is having 60 ml of air inside the syringe. There is 60 ml of air inside the syringe. So right now when I'm pulling it, there is 2 ml of air inside this syringe. So what I'll do right now is, there is a straw which can connect, which can exactly fit on its nozzle like this. See. There is a straw which I have taken. There is a foam piece which I have taken. You can take a rolled slipper also. And here there are cork borers of different size. This is a cork borer. So if I keep on it and press gently like this and rotate. So what I will be getting is foam dart I will be getting. What I get it after pressing is it cuts perfectly. And we'll get a foam dart like this circular foam dart so i have already prepared some darts here so, so now i have taken the syringe and pulled the piston so 60 ml of it is there and fixed the straw onto it now i'm taking a smaller syringe and removing the piston and fixing it here at the other end of the straw now i'm taking the foam dart and fixing it here closing the smaller syringe with it like this now let me so 60 ml of air is there in this syringe 2 ml of air is there in this syringe normally but what i am doing is by applying force onto the piston right. by applying force onto the piston i am trying to accommodate it accommodate the air in less volume instead of 62 i want to accommodate it in less volume so this 60 ml of air i want to accommodate in 40, 5, 40, it shooted off. So, it is no more uh, able to stay in this. So, when we are trying to compress it, bring it closer and closer, the compressed air, it exerts pressure, which is shooting off the dart. Let me replace it with one more syringe, which I have. Here, there is 10 ml syringe is there. This 10 ml syringe, I am fixing it here. And there is a suitable dart for it. It tightly fits us here. I'm again filling the syringe with air. So 60 ml of air is there, 10 ml of air is there in this syringe. When I am trying to compress that air and I'm trying to bring it closer and closer, what it is happening, see? Shoot it off. So that is all the power of the compressed air. So when we are decreasing the volume. In a closed container, when we are trying to accommodate the air in less volume, the pressure is increasing, which is which is shooting that dart so powerfully. So here there is a target. Our gun is ready and the target is ready. I have fixed the dart into it like this. See, fix the dart into it. Let me shoot it right now. I'm not a good shooter, but let me aim it and shoot the top one. Fail to shoot. So let me try one more time. So it is able to collapse that. So where we use in our day-to-day -day life in so many places we use the same principle. So try to find it out. Thank you.